Uh, I have a very strong urge to do something hurtful to someone and it's starting to overwhelm me. Ooh, does that urge have you in crisis? How do I know an urge is a crisis? An urge is a crisis when it is very strong and when acting on that urge will make things much worse in the long run. Oh yeah, this is definitely a crisis. Do I act on it? Do I not act on it? It sounds like now might be a good time to use the crisis survival skill pros and cons. Pros and cons. Yes, it's a crisis survival skill we can use anytime we have to choose between two courses of action. Mm, I really have an urge to do the hurtful thing. Do we think we're in wise mind right now? <sighs> no, please continue. What is the pros and cons crisis survival skill? Okay, we're gonna make a list of the pros and cons of acting on your crisis urges. These might be to engage in dangerous, addictive, or harmful behaviors, or they might be to give in, give up, or avoid doing what is necessary to build a life you want to live. Go on. Then make another list of the pros and cons of resisting crisis urges. That is, tolerating the distress and not giving in to the urges. Okay, when do I use it and how do I use it? Great question. We want to do this before an overwhelming crisis urge hits us. We want you to write out your pros and cons, carry them with you, and rehearse your pros and cons over and over again. Okay, so when an overwhelming crisis urge hits, let's say, for example, hypothetically wanting to be hurtful or petty, how do I use this? When an overwhelming crisis urge hits, I want you to review your pros and cons. Get out your list and read it over and over again. Imagine the positive consequences of resisting the urge. Think of the negative consequences of giving in to the crisis behavior. And remember past consequences when you have acted on crisis urges similar to this one. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to go do that right now. Heck yeah, you are.